Hello everyone. Welcome to the French test. I hope you're all doing good and you're keeping safe. So I'm back on YouTube after a long break. And since I'm done with my NEET exam now, I have a lot of time to create videos for you all and help you with your exams. Okay. So today, let's begin with a new chapter of our book on Shante part one which is Lesson 4, Lesson 4, Les Objets et les Gens. Objet means objects. And Jean is the French word for people. Okay. Les Objets et les Gens. As you can see in the picture given here, this is a classroom and we learn all the nouns related to the classroom. What a teacher is called, what are the objects called, etc. Okay, this chapter is going to be interesting as a lot of new vocabulary is coming up. So keep your notes handy. Let's read this dialogue. Hey Sarah, it seems that a lot of English words come from French, this boy says. She replies, yes, Paul, around 30% of the English words have come from French. Let's begin with les articles and these nouns. So now, Let's read these words and let's understand their meaning in English. The first one is Yun Institutrice. Yun Institutrice is the French word for a teacher. And if you remember from the previous video uh, that was Qu'est-ce que c'est, you would remember Yun is. The article we use for feminine nouns. So this is a female teacher. So Yun Institutrice is a teacher. Pur femina. Second, a tableau. A indicates masculine singular. A tableau is a blackboard. Number three, Yun Table. Yun is again feminine singular. Table, table. Yun table is a table. Number four, yun port is a door, which is again feminine. You must remember the nouns as well as the article being used because in this chapter we'll be doing adjectives also. And in French, the adjectives are changed according to the number of the noun and the gender of the noun. So it will be helpful for you if you try to remember the gender of these nouns. A door is again feminine. Un table, feminine. Board, blackboard is masculine. How do we say if it's masculine or feminine? We look at it. If yun is used, it is feminine, and if o is used, it is masculine. Okay. Number five, de fenetre. Here de is written, which is plural. So, fenetre is the French word for window. Since de is written, which means plural, so I'll tell you what the gender of this noun is. It is yun. So a window, feminine. Moving on to the sixth noun, a pupitre is a desk, which is again masculine, since a is used, a desk. Seven, 
on left on left is a child masculine and yun left if you see a uh, number 13 yun left is a girl child for feminine then we have number 8 dekaiye is a notebook and this masculine i'll tell you a kaiye so a notebook I've written this in uh, French. I'm sorry. I'm writing the English translations here. So the seventh one becomes a child for masculine. That is on a left, and on a left is a girl child. So we write here a child feminine. uh where will be number 9 a carta blue is a backpack a backpack masculine noun number 10 a crayon a crayon is a pencil masculine noun a crayon de regle the singular is un regle which means a ruler or a scale so a ruler feminine noun 12th we have des étudiants which means students and 14th we have a stylo is a pen again a masculine noun 15th and the last one is un trous is a pencil box or a pencil case so a pencil box which is a feminine noun let's go through the go through these nouns once again yun and stitutries is a teacher a blackboard is a tableau yun table is a table yun port is a door de fenetre or yun fenetre is a window sixth A pupitre is a desk. On left is a child, male, masculine. A cahier is a notebook. A cartable is a backpack. A crayon is a pencil. Un regle is a scale. Des étudiants, students. Un élève, a girl child, femina. Fourteen, a pen, that is a stylo. A pencil box, un trous. It would be better if you make a list. as we always do two columns english and french it will be easy for you to prepare when your exams come nearby